Hello, today I show you how to use Bokeh Photoshop action and here is some of results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2500 pixels or 3500 pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you have a photo with too small resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value to 3000 pixels. Okay, and before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the HB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, Click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Ok, that's all. Now how to use action. Open your photo and one more important thing, your photo needs to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, this view. You just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new and select background from layer. Now it's ok. The next step, open brushes file. For that go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select brushes, click load, then go to your download folder and make double click on bokeh brushes. Ok, done. Next step, open action file, for that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder again and open bokeh photoshop action. Ok, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus, for that you can use one of lesser tool or quick selection tool, but today I'm gonna use a brush tool. Ok, I recommend using a hard brush. You can use any colors.
Okay, it's done. And please, uh, when you brush the area, please make sure that the opacity and flow of your brush tool is 100%. Okay, the next step, open Actions panel. For that, go to the window, Actions. Find Action on the Actions list. Open it and click Play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of your brush tool is 100%. Click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And I am little scroll this step. Okay, when action finished work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition, you have uh, five folders. It's background elements, object elements, upper elements, 10 color effects, and color and contrast settings. Okay, let's start from uh, background elements. This folder contains the background photo. And this folder contains background bokeh folder. In this folder you can change the color and contrast of this bokeh effect. Also this folder contains uh, blue background bokeh. And second background bokeh folder. In this folder you can also change the color of this effect. And brightness and contrast of this effect. If you want to erase some of space of this effect, just select the layer mask uh, of my ground walking. Select Brush Tool, then select Soft Brush and Black Color and just paint on your photo. Black Color to erase the effect and White Color to make visible. Okay, next folder it's object elements. This folder contains your object area, soft object layer, light around object, and object bokeh folder. This folder you can change the color of this effect. and brightness and contrast. Also this folder contains uh, all photo soft layer. Of course you can change the opacity of this layer. Okay, the next folder it's upper elements. This folder contains shadow frame. You can change the opacity of this layer. Also, this folder contains color overlay. And this folder contains two bokeh effects. You can change the color and contrast of these effects.
And if you want to erase some of space of this effect, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, black color and paint on your photo. White color to make visible. Okay, next folder contains 10 color effects. And the last folder, color and contrast settings. In this folder, you can add color tone to all image. Of course, you can change the color of this layer. You can change hue saturation of all image. And you can change brightness and contrast of all image. So here is result. Looks very beautiful. Now we need just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.